I would spend time in nature trying to connect with the world around me with the hope of understanding shamanism. So once, when I was sitting under a tree meditating, a pine cone fell off the branch and hit me on the head. It startled me, and I opened my eyes, and the meditation was over. At that moment, I wondered what I was trying to achieve. I knew nothing about shamanism, but I had to know more. So I started to research the subject and found some interesting stuff. Apparently, the first layer of shamanism is rooted in the view that everything, alive or inanimate, is connected, called animism. Shamanism is built upon this foundation, yet this is not the spirit world. I think there is some confusion here. Many think that sitting and meditating in nature and being one with it is shamanism, but in fact, that is animism. Animism is the belief in a supernatural power that organizes and animates the material universe. It says that plants, inanimate objects, and natural phenomena all have a soul, and everything is connected. Opening up and experiencing this connection can be energizing. Thus, we should always be striving for that which connects us through animism. Why? It gives us power. At times, I don't want to go out and be with others. I prefer to stay home in a hermit-like way, and this makes me weak. But if I go out with a group of positive people, I get energized. I'm powerful and filled with life when I'm connected. Connecting to the natural world is always life-fulfilling. Why? Because you are connecting to who you really are. You are the creator. You are part of a collective, connected consciousness, creating reality, like what animism is talking about. But like the natural world, we are all part of the spirit world too. A shaman knows how to connect with the spirit world. Animism tells us that everything around us has a spirit too. As kids, we could connect to the spirit world, but over time, we've forgotten how to do this. So the first step, if you're following a calling to be a shaman, is to know that you are not alone, that everything and everyone is connected. Don't hesitate to ask for help or to give help to others. Being separated is an illusion Animism teaches this too. We need to learn to feel the connection. Understanding and feeling animism is a great place to start your spiritual journey. To get a start on the shamanic way and to experience animism, just spend time in nature and focus on everything that enters your senses. Focus on the sounds, scents, textures, temperature, the breeze, thoughts, everything. Sit under a tree and meditate if you like. Take off your shoes and feel the earth with your toes. Become part of the whole. And doing a shamanic trance dance is taking it a step further and a great way to relax and lose your self-importance. It allows you to connect to the real world through animism and the spirit world at the same time because you feel the floor at your feet when you dance. Yet you can also connect with your spirit dance partner, your spirit guides, or spirit animal. Give animism a try.